Good evening, everyone. I am very fortunate to have Dr. Shubham Goswami with us. He is AIMS Merit List rank number one, and this is a fantabulous achievement, Dr. Shubham. Welcome to this forum. So, firstly, Shubham, can you just tell us or introduce yourself as to where did you did your undergraduate and post graduation from? Uh, good evening, sir. Uh... I did my undergraduation in 2013 batch MBBS from Pandit Janam Medical College, Raipur. And then uh, I did my MD in medicine 2019 batch uh, from Lady Harding, uh, New Delhi. So when did you pass out? In which year did you pass out? So last year, uh, May I passed out, sir, 2022. Right. And you are originally from which place? Sir, I hail from, sir, Bhilai, Chhattisgarh. Right. So... Villa is not a metropolitan city per se, and we don't come across many hematologists, oncologists, or for that matter, even hematopathologists in that city. So what prompted you or made you passionate about for choosing hematology in this uh, super speciality era? Uh, sir, uh, while I was posted in my MD medicine in Harding, we do not have a super specialty, but uh, under my mentor and guide, Dr. Ritika Sood, ma'am, we used to run a hematology OPD from 2 to 4. And my thesis was also in hematology only. From there, I had a slight idea about going into a field. And I was primarily oriented towards medical oncology. Uh, from there, I had my interest. And I had seen very good good, good patients, uh, a good number of uh, ITP and AHA. Uh, from there, I had primarily interested in the, I want to pursue my career in oncology or hemato-oncology. So when did you start a preparation for hematology per se? Uh, sir, uh, I was, I started, I, mean, I was, since la this year, I was doing my SR in clinical hematology only, and uh, Rajiv Gandhi, and uh, I was not able to give the May examination, but then I decided to appear for the NSA because it was always my uh, aspiration and dream to pursue it from AIMS or uh, PGI Institute. So I dropped uh, as a SR uh, from Ra uh, Rajiv Gandhi in September this year. Uh, I prepared it for a good one month and then I joined, uh, I currently am working as a PGI uh, Chandigarh SR Clinical Hematology. So it was in between while doing SR ship only, uh, I could prepare. But I right. like so to see that. You I was prepared while doing SR ship. Yeah, sir, I, have, I was preparing doing SR ship only. Right. And did you refer to any textbooks or, or what would you refer to with respect to the marrow videos? For a preparation, sir. Uh, primarily, I started with Harrison, and then there is a textbook called as a uh, SAP for a uh, ASH education. So I read that, and then uh, to hit it off, I had a, a copy of your notes. And then uh, since oncology part was already uh, good for me, and it was all guideline based, but it is a laboratory part and uh, classical hematology parts with troubles. Uh, us as a physician or uh, particularly me so for that i have seen your videos but i have read the theory part from harrison or sap also but i could only understand the hplc and everything from your videos only and how to actually get through it all so it was really amazing and to have you as a teacher and mentor sir. so when did you start preparing from marrow and how much time did it take for you to go through all the videos sir since i have already I was uh, like well thorough with the ha Harrison and uh, Sab book. I uh, wanted to complete it uh, completely. So I started last month only, uh, like a one month before examination. I started with your notes and I have completed all the marrow questions. Uh, wherever I found that uh, with my notes, I was not able to crack. I used to go to your videos because I had very less time to go through all the videos since four stars only I could read. So only those topics where uh, I had a trouble understanding and if I'm not able to crack a particular question or a particular topic, I went through your video. But particularly it was your notes. I felt, sir, it is complete. Well, it is really complete. I did not even feel necessary key if you could read all the clinical SAP book. For classical hematology, okay, you should go through the SAP part along with Harrison. But for oncology, and then the coagulation and thrombosis part, it's complete, sir. It's 
complete to crack a NESS or any examinations for clinical hematology. If you have a basic understanding of everything else. On an average, how many hours were you able to study because the, you you prepare it uh, while you are doing your researchship and it is not easy to prepare while you are doing a researchship? Sir, it was whenever I had a free time, I was I came back to studying, but it was more or four or five hours a day that I could make on most days. But uh, it is like when in OPD days, you get a very less time. So you strategize yourself ki, okay, I'll do a particular one topic only or some topic where I am about to revise only. If I'm about to start a new topic. I'll choose a fresh day where I'm not very tired. And uh, I have, but re recently, however, I am always was a night owl. But recently since, because this <laughs> uh, hectic schedule, I used to wake up early. I always started my morning with one good topic that was to be studied, mostly classical hematology. I started when I just woke up in the morning and I read one topic, complete it with, of, with MCQ of that particular topic. I had also had an MCQ book for the same. Uh, so, and then to complete it with, after doing it like uh, notes, Harrison, if at all SAP, complete it with that MCQ book and then Maru will complete it off because most of the people won't do all this. They will always, but everyone will do Maru. So I did not want to miss out on ki isme se koi question aata hai to main ye to milkul ni miss karna hai because the strategy is like that because sir, there is only one seat. You cannot afford to be missing out on many things or at loss at least 90% of the things. And it's mostly you do not know how well the other person is prepared. So that was a overall calculated strategy, sir. Right. And with respect to your exams, when you look at the medicine part as well as the hematology part, so which part do you feel was more tough? And how many did you attempt per se? Sir, for me, it was a medicine part which appeared to be a little tough on side because I was off Harrison since last one year because I am only working as an SR in clinical hemato or oncology field. So uh, few of the questions were straight from the Harrison though, and but it needed revision. And I could not uh, not go through all uh, the Harrison, but I was very well thorough with Harrison, my MD days. And that has always helped me out all while cracking all the examinations or any uh, uh, while approaching the patients also. But uh, uh, for uh, uh, this particular examination, I sir attempted 80 out of 80 questions, but there was not, not a, none one the I had able to crack down to two options mostly. So I did not miss out on any single questions. I completed, attempted all the 80. Yes. So that's what I usually say to all students. If you can come down from four to two, there is a 50% chance that you will be right. So do attempt if you can come down to two. And when you said that you are you were a late night owl, but you switched to an early morning riser attempt. If there is any topic which you find difficult, always study early in the morning. That will be the per most permanent solution for that respective topic per se. So we did have an INI step to preparation session uh, a few days prior to the interview. So did it help you with respect to your interviews per se? Sir, it definitely did. Uh, because uh, MCQ parts, we are uh, okay. It's quite predictable. Ki there are like few questions will come from here and we'll have some 60 40 ratio somewhere. Ki 50 questions MCQ hemat se aana hai and 30 questions. Hai. Wo purana pattern sa chal raha hai. But for interview, you really do not know what they'll ask, how they approach. And uh, as you started there, also there are lots of myths regarding uh, the uh, interview part, how they go through about it. So it narrows you down key what you really want to uh, uh, how do you really want to appear you you want to be yourself to not appear anything that is not you and rest is whatever you have read it will naturally come down when they ask so i really felt that it it rather not tell you what to answer it tell you how to prepare yourself in general just be there not necessarily need to do anything extra what you have done just be yourself and that we were like that only in that interview, sir. That's what matters in the end. You should not try to be someone else. 
if you know your something if you don't know something you just have to be straight forward in your interview i and i now if you have to give tips to any of your post graduate juniors who are aiming to prepare for hematology i and i what will be your tips with respect to the months of preparation which someone requires and how to go about it hematology as per is not very broad subject be thorough with your harrison you should be an and again hematology is not a, other than the core oncology part it is not a other subject like medical oncology is where you have to prepare all the way and read different textbooks all the way you not get to see so many of patients you will always see anemia you will always see anemia in your uh, opd that is what they are asking they are not asking you some different or a elinate questions with thor very thor with your harrison be it a neat be it any ss it will always help you then to top it out you narrow it down to some if at all you do not have a guide or mentorship guide down to a one coaching uh, that is that is what you you feel complete is if at all time permits read sap and you do not necessarily need to read williams or uh, uh, wintro read sap with or with or harrison choose one coaching institute which you feels is a right fit for you do not go behind guidelines you do not read nccn if that is there you will miss it out so narrow it down to harrison one coaching sap that is what all it needs sir right you are you are pretty precise in what you wanted to say so last but not the least if there is any suggestions from your side as to how marrow assess can improve with respect to if something is left for hematology preparation uh so basically uh, there was since uh, i'll only say ki the mcq parts we can narrow it down to more of a clinical questions more and there are some parts where they ask very factual questions from basic science also uh, the basic hematology and physiology part rest i feel the videos are complete if one is able to narrow it down to the notes it is precise and uh, we can only have uh, more of we also have now added the mcq discussions recall questions so i do not really have things to add on sir back down when i was preparing for pre pg we used to have all those uh, uh, bookmarks or pearls if that can be added if at all for like for some ipi index or uh, uh, some named scores because they are asking all those questions or maybe if at all they they are going to ask one or two questions from that so if one but since everything is in the notes not necessarily need to go down there because people used to keep it at one place but if that can be done that is the only advice i have sir sure we'll look up to it okay so it was wonderful having you dr shubham uh, a rank of aims being one happens few times in a lifetime and you should cherish this moment if not now then never uh, welcome to the field of hematology is probably a field wherein you have the best clinicians among lab personnel and the best lab best lab persons amongst all the clinicians it's a versatile field and probably the only field where there is complete integration of lab along with the clinical skills so i hope uh, that you will enjoy this uh, field of hematology and you will continue to be the same passionate person as you are as of now few years down the line too hope to meet you sometime soon in reality definitely sir i'll come i have always been to your webinars like image to sir follow kar raha hu but uh, someday i'll definitely want to meet you sir you have been inspiration and so sure thank you shubham thank you thank you so much